What is the minimum number of two input NOR gates required to implement a four variable function expressed in sum of min times form as f equal to sigma 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, 15? Assume that the inputs and their complements are available. So this is a question coming from digital logic section regarding minimization of a function using KMAP. So if you don't know how to minimize a function using KMAPs, please refer to the video lectures for KMAP from digital logic topic and first learn about it and then come back here. So here I have drawn the KMAP for this particular function given in question. So it was saying that it's a sigma function at 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, 15 will be ones. So in the place of 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13 and 15 I have put 1. The rest all will be zeros. And after drawing this, we will try to find out prime implicants from this. So if you take these ones, these four ones I can group together like this. And these four ones I can group together like this. Now there is no more group grouping which we can do in this figure. Now we will try to find out the expression here. So for this particular group, you will see that A changes from 0 to 1. B stays constant from 1 to 1. So we will write B. Here A changes from 0 to 1, sorry C changes from 0 to 1, D remains constant at 1. So this will be BD for this one. Similarly for this one, it will be A changes from 0 to 1, B remains constant at 0, 0. So B instead of B, we will be writing B complement. Similarly here C changes from 0 to 1, D remains constant at 0. So we will be writing D complement. So this function is BD plus B complement D complement. Now, that is nothing but B X nor D. Now implementing XOR or XNOR using NAND and NOR gates, the minimum number of NAND gate required to implement XOR function is 4 and XNOR is 5. The minimum number of NOR gates required to implement XOR is 5 and XNOR will be 4. So this I got directly from the video lectures for and XOR and XNOR realization using NAND or NOR gates. Please refer to that if you don't know this. So if we know this, we can based on this we can directly answer this question. But in this question, they have given one more point that is assume that all the inputs and their complements are available. So these values we get when the inputs are available only in the true form that is A, B, C and D. But they are saying that inputs and their complements are also available meaning A, B, C and D are available and on top of that A complement, B complement, C complement, D complement are also available. So now in that case we need to find out if there is any better way to realize this. So this is what NAND realization using NOR gates. NAND realization using sorry XNOR realization using NOR gates. XNOR realization using NOR gates. In normally it will take four, but in our case, since complements are also available, let us see if we can reduce it from four to further down. So the expression is B D plus B complement D complement. Now we know we have to in implement it using NOR gates. So at the end it should be some function plus some function the whole complement because the final gate will be a NOR gate. So input should be something plus something the whole complement should give us BD plus B complement D complement. So in this form directly we can't get that particular form using NOR gates. So I will try to transform this function here. So if you see AB plus C we can rewrite as A plus C into b plus c so this is just distributive law distributing plus over star now the same thing b d plus b complement d complement i will rewrite as b plus b complement into b plus d complement plus d plus b complement plus d plus d complement now b plus b complement will be again one plus zero form this will be one only d plus d complement will be again 1 plus 0 form which will be 1 only so these two we can ignore so the rest would be b plus d complement into b complement plus d now this i can write as a plus b the whole complement form a b will be a complement a b will be equal to a complement plus b complement the whole complement something plus anything else the whole complement is nor only okay so this into this we can rewrite as this part the whole complement that is b plus d complement the whole complement plus b complement plus d that is this part the whole complement that is b complement plus d the whole complement and the complement of the entire thing this is just de morgan's law a b we can rewrite as a complement plus b complement the whole complement 
so we got this one so if you look this is just this part plus this part the whole complement that is nor gate and each of this part also it is something plus something else the whole complement again this also we can input to a nor gate this also we can input to a nor gate that is what i have given in this particular diagram here b and d complement we are giving it to a nor gate similarly b complement and d also we are giving to another nor gate so this will be b plus d complement the whole complement this will be b complement plus d the whole complement and these two coming to a nor gate that is nothing but this particular expression that is b complement sorry b plus d complement the whole complement plus b complement plus d the whole complement the whole complement that's what will be coming out of here that is nothing but what we have here that is bd complement plus bd complement plus b complement d that is again bd plus b complement d complement this is this was our initial function so clearly we can implement this using three nor gates so the answer to this question is three